We want to factor x cubed plus 3x squared plus 5x plus 15, and we're going to do this by grouping because there's four terms, um, and that's the only way that we know how to factor if we have more than three terms. And um, we could always look for a GCF, right? If we do, we should always look for a GCF no matter what. But um, they don't have any numbers in common. There's no x on 15, so there's no greatest common factor. So we're going to try to factor by grouping, which means that we pair um, two terms together. And usually you just start with the first two and the second two, or you kind of look them over and see, okay, which two do I think have something in common? Which other two? And, you know, if you notice 5 and 15, they both have 5 in common. These two have a lot more x's in common. Um, so we're going to try that. So I'm going to factor, or I'm going to group first. We're not factoring yet. Um, x cubed plus 3x squared, and they're still adding. We always want to put a plus sign in between and take the sign inside. So if there's any negatives, just put a plus sign in between the parentheses and take any negatives into the parentheses, but there aren't any here. Um, so plus 5x plus 15. Now, factor out the greatest common factor from each parentheses. So from our first group, x cubed and 3x squared have an x squared in common. So I'm going to factor out that x squared. And when I do that, x cubed divided by x squared is x. 3x squared divided by x squared is 3. Plus, if we look at our second group, 5x plus 15, the GCF of that group of those two terms would be 5. Right? 5 um, goes into 5x, 5 goes into 15. Right? 5x divided by 5 would just be 1x or x. 15 divided by 5 would be 3. And so what we want, our goal, and what we have here is that what's inside our parentheses is the same, right? In both those parentheses is x plus 3. So that actually becomes our new greatest factor, greatest common factor, um, because it's like we have two different terms here. We have this first term, because all of this is multiplying together. x squared is multiplying with the quantity x plus 3. Our second term, 5, is multiplying with the quantity x plus 3. So we can factor out that quantity x plus 3. If we do that, we have x plus 3. And then in the other parentheses is what's multiplying with x plus 3. Right? x plus 3 is multiplying with x squared plus x plus 3 is multiplying with 5. And that is our answer. Right, x plus 3, the quantity x plus 3, times the quantity x squared plus 5 are the factors of that long polynomial that we were given. Um, remember, you can always check factoring by doing distributive property, by foiling in this case. If you foil those two binomials, you should end up with the original polynomial.